Hello and welcome again to Devotion and Prayer with the devotional Maranatha, the Lord is Coming by Ellen G. White. Today's reading is March the 6th, Christ the Only Savior, who had delivered us from the power of darkness and had translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, Colossians 1 verses 13 and 14. No matter who you are or what your life has been, you can be saved only in God's appointed way. You must repent. You must fall helpless on the rock, Christ Jesus. You must feel your need of a physician and of the only remedy for sin, the blood of Christ. This remedy can be secured only by repentance toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. The blood of Christ will avail or profit for none but those who feel their need of its cleansing power. What surpassing love and condescension that when we had no claim upon divine mercy, Christ was willing to undertake our redemption. But our great physician requires of every soul unquestioning submission. We are never to prescribe for our own case. Christ must have the entire management of will and action. We may flatter ourselves that our moral character has been correct and we need not humble ourselves before God like the common sinner. But we must be content to enter into life in the very same way as the chief of sinners. We must renounce our own righteousness and plead for the righteousness of Christ to be imputed or credited to us. We must depend wholly upon Christ for our strength. Self must die. We must acknowledge that all we have is from the exceeding riches of divine grace. Let this, th let this be the language of our hearts, not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but unto thy name give glory for thy mercy and for thy truth's sake. Genuine faith is followed by love and love by obedience. All the powers and passions of the converted man are brought under the control of Christ. His spirit is a renewing power, transforming to the divine image all who will receive it. Whosoever is born of God doth not commit sin. He feels that he is the purchase of the blood of Christ and bound by the most solemn vows to glorify God in his body and in his spirit, which are God's. The love of sin and the love of self are subdued in him, his daily he daily asked, What shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits toward me? Lord, what wilt thou have me to do? Christ the only Savior, who had delivered us from the power of darkness and had translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son, in whom we have redemption through his blood. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we praise you for being God. We praise Christ for being our God, our Lord, our Savior, our High Priest, our Intercessor. We praise the Holy Spirit for being our Comforter. We once again confess that we are sinners in need of your saving, your grace. We ask that you give us your Holy Spirit. Give us the latter rain power to finish your work. We thank you for this message, Lord, reminding us that we can only be saved through Christ and Christ alone, not through work and not through any other individual, not through what we might think might be the easy or a more pleasing route, but only through Christ and through total submission to Christ, giving him our will, our full obedience. Lord, we thank you for the reading, but we cannot do this on our own. We ask that once again, the Holy Spirit take charge of our life and make our will yours. Make us obedient. Make us surrender that your will can be done in our lives, Lord. We want to be saved in your kingdom. And work that out. Not only us, we want to take our family members, our neighbors, our co-workers, our friends. We want to take so many people with us, Lord. So help us to accept you, claim you, be submissive to you. Let you have control of our lives. And may we share this gospel with others. May they too be submissive to, the, to your gospel. And receive this message that we can be saved only through the merits of Christ and Christ alone. We cannot work our way into heaven. We cannot earn our way into heaven only through the free gift but we must be willing to submit and obey fully and this we can only do through you we thank you we claim this in jesus name amen